Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a histogram, a frequency histogram, out of a simple little data set. Here we have the weight of turtles in grams, and so we have uh, 15 observations. So we can make a little histogram here. First thing we need to do is make buckets. Decide how many buckets we need. Well, with about 15 observations in our data, right here, uh, we, sh we can't really have more than about three to five. That should be a sweet spot for the number of uh, buckets. And if you're wondering how I did that, there's a general rule of thumb which is uh, you should have the number of buckets approximately equal to, squ to the square root of the number of observations, the square root of n. Okay, so I'm going to aim to make uh, three to five buckets. Let's see what happens. Let's get the min of our data because we want to make sure we cover that and let's get the max. So these will just be references for me when I'm deciding my buckets. So I have to get make buckets from 17 to 25. So why don't we start at uh, let's start at 10 and let's go to 20 and then let's do yeah, it's doing dates. Fantastic. Let's just change this to text. Okay. So we'll do 10 to 20. That'll be our first bucket. We'll do 20 to 30. We'll do 30 to 40. And you already see if I continue this kind of pattern that I'm going to make a lot more than if I have to go all the way to 80 to 79 that is. I'm going to make a lot more than 3 to 5. So let's, let me stop right here and make my buckets a lot wider. Let's go 10 to 30. Let's jump by let's jump by 20. Let's go 30 to 50. Let's go 50 to 70. And then finally we got we got to jump from 70 to 90. Okay, so that gives us four nice buckets which will include our minimum and our maximum and of course everything in between here. So so this you can call your classes, your intervals, I'm going to write synonyms for this because in your class you might be talking about this under different guises. These are all saying the same thing. Categories, bins, intervals, classes, okay? Those are our classes right here. These are just synonyms for this column right here. What you need to feed Excel is the maximum of each category. I'm just going to go with category. So we take each class and we write only the max. You see that's what I'm doing. Excel needs this column in order to make the histograms. In order to use the function I'm going to show you now, which is to get the frequency in each of these classes. So we can manually go through here and count how many observations fall between 10 and 30. And we would count only one. We write one there. Then we go look for observations between 30 and 50. And already you see this gets a little tedious. It's easy to do when it's only 15 observations and four categories. But you can imagine if this was a lot longer, you don't want to do this manually, okay? And especially if you want to learn how to use Excel, you want to make everything automated. So let Excel do the work. And the way you do this is you learn an array function called the frequency function. Okay, so follow me very carefully. I'll do this twice. This is unlike most functions that you've used before. Okay, first, what you do is you create this column. Based, which is based on this, which is this is what you learn in your stats course, uh, your lesson one on how to make a frequency histogram. Okay, so what you do is right next to this uh, column, you m highlight all the cells directly next to that. Then you type equals frequency, open parentheses. You highlight the data, comma, you highlight the categories up or from the bottom up or from top down it doesn't matter it's the same thing you close the parentheses and you don't hit enter here you hit shift control enter shift 
control enter okay so there were four observations actually you see when we did it by eye we missed a lot between 10 and 30 let's see if that's true hey yeah, here's one we missed that here's two here's three where's the fourth one hmm am I missing this yeah, there it is. Yes, Excel's doing it right. You see that? Human error, man. And this is off only 15 observations. I missed three. Okay, so there you go. There it is. The function's working properly. Between 30 and 50, one, two, three, where's four? four there so it's doing the right job okay let's do that again I highlight all the cells next to this max of category column then I type equals frequency open parentheses I highlight the data comma I highlight the categories the max of the categories sorry close parentheses shift control enter not just enter okay now I have everything I need to make a histogram. And here's the histogram. Let me just go to insert on the top ribbon. Column, pick the first column chart. And if you get this kind of madness, go to select data over here. Remove, remove until you have nothing there. You have an empty canvas over here. Click add names leave blank here is where you put the data in delete that highlight the frequency data and you see we're already getting a histogram in the background click OK now you don't want one two three four over here this should actually be these guys okay edit highlight these guys Okay, and we got a appropriately na uh, labeled horizontal axis. We're getting what looks like a frequency histogram. We got to get rid of these gaps. Remember, there should be no gaps in a histogram. And we don't need this legend. And we should also put a title, axis titles. Okay, so it's going to fill in all these boxes. First, let's get rid of the gaps. Right click on any of the bars. Format data series. And this is the gap width right here. Reduce that to zero. Close, the gaps are gone. Click on that series, legend, delete that. Now let's make a title that's under the layout ribbon. Chart title. Above chart, so this is a histogram, frequency histogram. of turtle weight and let's also label our axes vertical axis first let's do the horizontal these are turtle uh, these are the categories Let's label the uh, vertical axis. I pick rotated. I like that one, so you don't uh, take as much. It takes a lot less space than the uh, others. And here is the frequency, right? There you go. You got yourself a frequency histogram, albeit a very lame-looking one. But we can change that right now because everything is live in Excel. Watch what happens if I change some numbers here. I make this 18 and I make this 77 I think this is 32 okay you're starting you see everything updates and this is connected to this this is connected to this okay so the, the dependency goes like this this depends on this 
it feeds that into this okay so if you change this everything updates downstream all right so i hope this was helpful uh, i know a lot of you in your intro to stats courses are using excel and one of the first things you learn in stats is uh, graphical techniques uh, not the least of which is the most important actually is the histogram so hope this helps um, till next time subscribe to my channel like my videos comment and uh, have a great day